This is going to be a fresh install of CentOS 7. When you get to the install screen, there are a few options. Um, if you see that, if you press the tab key, you will be presented with a um, configuration line where you can remove the word quiet and replace it with the word text. This will replace the GUI install with a text-based installation. So I'm going to replace it with the word text and press enter. Okay, now we have installation options. So number one through nine. I see that number two needs attention. So let's select two. Um, set time zones. Uh, the US is option 11. Available time zones for me would be option three central. Okay, the next installation option that needs some attention is number five, installation destination. Um, it's the virtual disk, so C for continue. We're going to use all the space, so C for continue. It's going to be LVM, logical volume manager, so C for continue. Uh, number seven needs attention, that is network configuration. We'll leave the host name alone, local host is fine. Let's configure the device ENS192, so select two. Uh, we're gonna keep it at DHCP. And number six, I'm gonna give it a name server. 8.8.8.8 .8 the Google name server press enter I'm gonna have it connected automatically after boot option 7 and apply configuration in installer option 8 and we're good to go C for continue so it shows us that it has an IP number it shows two DNS servers and that's it and C for continue so number four software selection needs attention we want a minimal install so C for continue let's do a refresh R for refresh okay good number four is set uh, root password select eight Password is Okay, it's a super simple password, so I need to say yes, I want to accept a super simple password Then I'm going to set up a user And one create user Three is username That would be me, Manuel uh, User password, option four Option five is to enter the password. And confirm that it is a simple password. Option six, make it an administrator. And we're good to go. So C for continue. So all the options are set. Language, time, root password, user, network configuration and installation destination and the source if everything looks good it's B for begin installation
So this is going to take a little bit. So I'm going to break the video here and then continue when it's ready to uh, reboot. And the installation has completed and now we need to press enter to have a uh, reboot done. Okay, so let's uh, log in. Okay, so we have a functioning server. Let's see if it has a proper IP address. IP space A. So the IP address is 192.168.1. 1.124 Sounds good. Okay.